Welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the liquidity mining program that Marinade Finance is doing. So if you're not familiar with Marinade Finance, I'll explain it quickly. So essentially, they just allow you to stake your Solana with them. And in return, they give you a token called MSOL. So that MSOL is interest bearing, so you can still get an APY from your stake Solana as well as the fact that you can then go ahead and use that MSOL in the DeFi ecosystem. You can use it as collateral, you can borrow against it, and so on and so forth. So it essentially unlocks the liquidity of your staked Solana tokens. So Marinade Finance recently just launched their liquidity mining program. So what they're going to do, they're going to pay people to use MSOL in various different ways. So they've launched uh, MNDE, which is the governance token for Marinade Finance today on October 7th. And so they will be giving out these tokens to people for doing various different things. So if you provide liquidity in a few AMM pools, so Orca or Radium, if you deposit MSOL into different lending protocols, so we have Port Finance and Larix, and also they'll reward people with Marinade tokens for uh, the Marinade Sol MSOL pool. So essentially with their liquidity mining program, they're going to be giving out 350 million tokens. And for the first week, this is their allocation for the tokens. So 50% so of the tokens will be giving out to MSOL USDC LP pools. And then we have 31% for the MSOL Sol pools, other MSOL pairs 9%, and then deposits and lending protocols 5%, and then uh, MSOL staking uh, an additional 5%. Additionally, they're doing a retroactive claim. So they have set aside, I think, 20 million Marinade tokens for people who had staked with Marinade previously. So they've taken a snapshot and they're going to be giving tokens out to people who have staked with uh, Marinade. So I have staked with them before, only like a few sold tokens, so I won't be able to claim much. But this really goes to show that you should go out of your way and try out all the different DeFi protocols out there because you never know you might get rewarded for it in the future. And the amount of Marinade tokens I'm going to be receiving, it is almost certainly going to outstrip the fees that I paid for trying out um, Marinade Finance. So I'm going to show you guys a little yield farming strategy I came up with to maximize my yield. So we'll be using the Marinade Finance website. Port Finance and the Orca Dex. So we will be getting yield in three different ways. So the first step in this strategy is to stake some Sol with Marinade. So I'm just going to stake one, get some M Sol. Well done. I'm now staking with Marinade. So I have the M Sol in my wallet now, and I'm going to go to Port Finance and I'm going to deposit it here. So Port Finance is still doing a liquidity mining program. So if you deposit anything into Port Finance, you will be getting paid out in Port Finance tokens. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to deposit my Marinade Stake Sol, the full amount. There we go. So I'm going to get yield three different ways by depositing into Port Finance. So first of all, the deposit APY I'll, I will be receiving 0.08% natively back in Marinade Stake Sol. And I will also be receiving 4.04% in Port Finance tokens. And I'll also be receiving Marinade Finance tokens because it is part of their liquidity money program. And I'm going to boost this even further. So I've supplied uh, 0.98 MSOL. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to borrow and borrow as much MSOL as I can. I'm going to confirm the transaction. Brilliant. And then I'm going to go back to supply and then supply it back here. And then you can do these transactions in a loop for quite a while. I think you'll be able to get up to around three and a half, four X leverage. So essentially look at this deposit APY here. You can times that by three or four times. And that's how much your APY will actually be once you finish doing this. So there, there will come to a point of diminishing returns where you probably won't want to keep doing this anymore. I would say you'd probably want to stop at about 3x leverage. Going beyond that, it's not really worth your time doing this. Um, so you can calculate your leverage by taking your deposited amount and divide it by your initial deposit amount. So if I have a deposited amount of 3mSol and my initial deposit was 1mSol, I've got 3x leverage there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 
some msol out here so this is going to be the last loop i'm going to show you guys and i'm going to go to author decks i'm going to go to the msol sol pool so in this pool i will be getting uh, returns from trading fees as well as getting Orca tokens and Marinade Finance tokens as well because it's part of their liquidity mining program. And we'll verify this risk and we're going to deposit. Proof. Okay, great. So now I'm LPing in that pool. So with that little yield farming strategy, I'm earning yield in a few different ways. So by staking my soul with Marinade Finance, I'm earning Marinade Finance tokens. The second part was depositing into Port Finance. So I'm getting a deposit APY on my MSOL. I'm also getting Port Finance tokens because they're doing a liquidity mining program as well. And I'm also getting Marinade Finance tokens because it's part of their liquidity mining program. Additionally, I've taken some MSOL out to LP in the MSOL soul pool in Orca. So I'll be earning both trading fees, Orca tokens, and Marinade Finance tokens on top of that as well. So several different ways I'm getting yield there. So that was just my little yield farming strategy there. There are obviously ways that you can crank up your yield, but I felt that this was quite safe. Firstly, because I can't get liquidated on Port Finance. And secondly, I've only got price exposure to uh, Solana. And also there's no impermanent loss risk because I'm not LPing against um, other assets. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just remember none of this is financial advice and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.